Hi, this is a quick response to uh, Gazebo Answers that states um, resize simple objects to specific sizes. So this user wants to spawn an object, a box, a cylinder or a sphere into a Gazebo world and wants it to have specific sizes. So one of the options is what you're doing here. And but what I'm going to show you is an, another way of doing it, which is uh, spawning the objects directly with the sizes and colors and whatever you want through code uh, into Gazebo. So let's, let's start. It is another way and it's much more robust, I suppose, and, and faster when you know how to do it. So the thing is, I'm using uh, ROS Development Studio to do this. Um, it's using Gazebo 4, uh, no sorry, it's using Gazebo 7 and basically what I've done is launching, so I have here a package that I did, what I'm doing, I'm doing is starting a, a, an empty world like this one, so nothing, it just has the sun and the ground plane and Basically, you have this, and what I've done is create a package which has and which has a URDF folder, and I've created URDF for each one of the objects that I want to spawn. For example, in in the case of this object, a box, what I've done is create a URDF file. There you go. I've, I've just created some colors for visualization in RViz and but essentially what you need is create a link with the name and then you have this three parts which is the inertia, the collisions and the visuals which essentially what you do, what do, you're doing here is stating the inertias so the mass and the different inertias in the different axes then you have the collision shape, which it should be a box of the size that you want. And in the visuals, you're stating also the same box with the same size. Okay, and then you're stating here a material which is used in a for our vis. But the real material and the colors is stated here through gazebo tag, which you reference through here. So simple box, base link. And then you state different materials, the K KP, KD, and then the frictions. And here you state the color. In this case, I want a red, red box, but you can put any color that you want that you have in the gazebo materials definition. And but you, basically you have the basic colors. You have them all there. So red, green, blue, black, white. So here. I've now, to spawn this object, what I need is to launch, so I have this spawn symbol box, which essentially uses a spawn robot URDF that I've created, that I'll show you just in a minute. And what I state is the position, X, Y, and Z, and the roll pigeon yaw, so the orientation of the object, and then what I do is state here the URDF that I'm going to use. So it's in this package, simple box URDF, and then the robot name, simple box, which is the one that I have here. So robot name, simple box. Okay? So before spawning it and show you how to spawn the object, just a little tip here. So one of the problems of doing it through script is that you have to state the inertias. Otherwise, the objects won't be uh, physically correct. So the thing is, how do I know these inertias? Well, you have to calculate them. But for basic geometric shapes, you have all the formula in internet. No problems there. And I've used... I already have a script that does that for me. So I have this inertia calculator which calculates for me um, basic geometric 
uh, inertias, geometric shape inertias. So I have the box, the spheres, and the cylinders. So for example, for the box, what I'm doing is applying these formulas. These formulas, you can find them in Wikipedia. There's no mystery there. And this, this program works in like this. So I have them already here. Let me go for it. There we go. So we have it already installed in the system. That's why he's stating that I have two versions, mine that I have here in the package in my workspace and this one. And here I, I just select the box, for example. I don't know, I want the box. Then I state the mass. So in, in my case, it would be, um, let me see, the mass. So it's one kilogram. So I go here and state, okay, one kilogram. Then the width, which would be, let me see, so it's 0 0.25, I can state anything, so for example, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.7, I don't know. Then it calculates all the inertias to put there, so you just have to copy-paste. That easy. I'll, sp I'll, I'll try to post all the code in the answer, but just to let you know that it's quite easy, uh, there's no mystery there. Once you have it, you can do it for all the geometric shapes. Shapes, Okay. Uh, so finally, to spawn the object, I just have to show you how I actually spawn the objects. So here, um, I told you that I was using this spawn URDF robot um, launch file, which is here. Where am I here? which essentially gets all the data that I give him, then it loads the URDF into the robot description pan, which can be used other afterwards to use and to publish TFs and so on in ROS, so it has many applications. And But this is the core, so I just spawn, I use this package gazebo ROS and this script, uh, this binary spawn model and as argument I give it well I want a URDF then the X, Y and Z role pitch and yaw then the robot name the model name and then the the URDF which is loaded into the robot de description parameter and that's quite it so now if I go here and I let me search for this. So for example, uh, here, so I ROS launch a simple object, resize, spawn, simple box, and I launch this, and there you have it, you have the box. It stopped because I stopped the simulation, so just click play and you have it. Then I have also done, for example, the cylinder, so I've done the three basic geometric shapes. So you have the cylinder here, and then you have the ball, the sphere. There you go. And that's quite it. So you can change all the shape that you want here. So for example, I'm gonna change one. So I'm going to change, I don't know, I'm going to do it, um, 1.5, for example, the box. So I have to change it here, and I have to change it also here. So in the visuals and in the collisions, it's very important. Also, because I've changed it, then what I have to do is recalculate the inertias. So uh, let me put this like this. Let me delete the box just to spawn it afterwards. So, doo -doo 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 -doo. there we go. So now I'm going to recalculate it. So I select the box, the mass is the same. Then it's width 0 0.25, depth 1.5,
and height 0 0.8. Okay, so now I just have to copy paste here, here. and here and okay we have it so now I'm going to for example change the color because I don't know I'll put it uh, maybe green just to state that it's another shape okay so I'm going to spawn the box. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There you go. So now we have another box with another shape and I can test, for example, if the collisions are okay. So let me see. Okay, the physics is all right. All the objects interact with it as it should be. Okay, perfect. So, so that's it for, for the, the question, the answer. I hope it helped and if you have any questions just put it, put, put it in the comments down below and thank you.